Hi, this is Anil from Learning Lad with a video tutorial on C++ programming. So in this tutorial, we're gonna learn about the I/O streams which are used to work with the files in C++. So in the previous tutorials, you know, we have learned about, you know, what are the I/O streams and what is the use of them. So here in this tutorial, we're gonna learn particularly about the I/O streams which are gonna work with the files. All right, let's get started. So first of all, what is a file? A file is a container for storing the information. So whatever the operating system you use, you know, files are the fundamental or the basic part of that operating system. And uh, in C++, we have three classes available which are going to work on the files. IEF stream or input file stream, you know, which is used to read from the file. Then OF stream or output file stream, you know, which is used to write to the file and then EF stream, you know, which allows us to both read and write to the file. And we have the EF stream header files available, you know, where the IEF stream, OF stream and EF stream classes are defined. All right. So in your program, you are only reading from a file at that time you guys can use the IEF stream class. And if you are only writing to a file at that time, you guys can use the OF stream class. And if you want to perform both read and write operation on a file at that time, you guys can use the EF stream class. So no matter what operation you want to perform on the file, you need to include the EF stream header file where the IEF stream, OF stream and the EF stream classes are defined. So it's going to be hash include EF stream. All right. The next thing is how to open up a file. Since the streams are associated with the files, you know, we can perform the operations on files just like the way we were performing it on the input and output streams. So here, first what we're going to do is we're going to create an object of this class yfstream. So it's going to be yfstream and then just give a name and let's say file. All right. Now, you know, when we create an object of this EF stream class, you know, this, this object is not associated with any files. So, so the next thing that we can do is we can associate this object with a file. To do that, we have a method, which is, uh, which is defined in this EF stream class, which is called open. So it's going to be the object name, which is file and then dot operator and then open. And here we need to pass the file name and the mode of operation. And here we have different version of this open method is available. So we can pass only the file name or we can pass the file name and the file opening modes. So here what we can do is we can pass the file name. So let's say anil.txt, you know, a text file. All right. When this statement is encountered, uh, file called anil.txt will be created you know where we have saved our program you know this program and uh, that file will be opened in both read and write mode so the next thing is about the file opening modes so we have the options of opening the file in the read mode and this file opening modes are defined in the ios base class ios base and we can also access this um, file opening modes by using the ios class also because you know this ios class derives from this ios base class all right so the first option that is available to us is the in or you know opening the file in the read mode so so we can access this from this ios or ios base class it doesn't matter you know when we open the file in the in mode you know, we can read from that file. And here, if you were using a IEF stream class object, and if you're opening the file without passing any parameter, you know, just like the way I have done here, if this file was an object of this IEF stream, and then, you know, by default, the C++ is going to open the file in the in mode. All right. The next option that is available to us is the out when we open the file in out mode, we can write to the file. And uh, another option that is available to us is called trunk. So normally we use this trunk option along with this out mode. So when we open the file in the out mode and trunk it, you know, if any file with the same name exits in that folder, 
you know the contents of that file will be removed and we have a brand new fresh file available to work and if we are using OF stream class here and if we are opening the file without passing any file mode here at that time you know the file will be opened in the out mode and the trunk mode both this out and trunk mode so if you want to combine two or more file opening modes what you can do is you can use the or operator you know which i'm going to teach you so here in this case we have used an object of the class yfstream you know which allows us to both read and write to the file that's why when we open this file and if we don't pass any parameter you know any file opening modes at that time by default the c++ is going to open the file in the in mode and the out mode which allows us to both read and write to the file and the next option that is available is called app or append so when we open the file in the append mode you know if any file is present with the same name you know the contents of that file will not be lost you know whatever we're gonna write to that file will be appended to that file at the end and also this mode f can be used with the files which are opened in the out mode you know the files that are open to write all right the next option that is available to us is called ate or seek which causes a seek to the end of the file to occur when the file is opened and then we have uh, the option called binary you know which is used to specify to the c++ that you know we are working with a binary file you know which we're gonna learn in the upcoming tutorials all right so this is about the file opening modes in c++ all right so here if you wanted to specify the file opening modes then you guys need to add a comma then ios base or ios class i'm going to use ios because you know it just reduces some typing time and then the scope resolution operator and then less a in and then or ios out you know by default the c++ is gonna add this to um, file opening modes you know because you know uh, we are using an object of this yfstream class here and the next thing is we can check whether the file we have specified here has opened successfully or not by using a method called is open and here i'm going to use the if statement and it's going to be file dot is open you know it returns true if that file has opened successfully else it returns false here i'm going to use a not operator it means that you know the file has not opened successfully and we're just going to print out that and we're going to say error while opening the file all right next if the file has opened successfully then we can read or write to the file here so it's going to be read or write and then after doing all the things we need to close the file and we can close that file by using the close meta and that's it now i'm going to save this and uh, here in the else part we're just going to say you know file open successfully so i'm going to copy this and paste it here and just going to say file open successfully all right now i'm going to save this i'm going to build and run this program and it says error while opening the file and if i open up the folder where we have this project and okay there's no file that's because mm, file open handle.txt in out all right all right that's because you know here in the folder where our program is there there is no file called anil.txt and if you want to create a file if a file is not present then you guys need to use another option you know which is trunk so if you don't use this then if the file is present then only the file will be opened otherwise you know it returns error while opening the file you know just like the way it written now so when we specify this trunk file opening mode you know if that file is not present then a file will be created and if a file is present then the contents of that file will be removed so just remember this you know if a file is not present in the folder at that time if we are using fstream then you guys need to specify you know ios trunk file opening mode you know otherwise 
a new file will not be created and the next thing is you know here if you want to pass any um, path you guys can pass that you know where you want to create the file so now I'm gonna save this I'm gonna build and run this program and now file open successfully and now I'm gonna open up the folder and here you guys can see anil and text document and I you know it's an empty file zero bytes and if I open up that you guys can see nothing is there and now I just gonna edit here you know in that uh, text editor and let's say some text here okay now I'm gonna save this save and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close this and I'm gonna run it again and now file opened successfully and uh, if I open up that file you know you know all the contents of that file that we have stored is lost you know we get a brand new file to work with all right so a file is a container to store the information and uh, to work with files we're gonna use the if stream or input file stream output file stream and f stream classes in C++ and we can open up a file or associate a file with a stream using the open method and we can check whether the file has opened successfully or not using the is open method and also you know we can close the file using the close method and the next thing that I want you guys to teach you is you know here you know instead of this is open method you know we can only use if not file you know this one also works just gonna build and run this and you know it says file open successfully all right this is it guys this is about the introduction to the files in c++ thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next tutorial